פרופסור תייסיר אליאס, דוקטור מאיר ויזל, שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. We are sitting here today in the Jerusalem Academy for Music. Music and Dance. In Jerusalem. Thank yes. you for correcting me. <laughs> Because of a very festive and important occasion that took place last week in Cholon Theater. Uh, we were all there celebrating the 10th anniversary to a very special Orchestra, yeah. the Jewish, the Israeli, the Arab Jewish Youth Orchestra. Thank you very much. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> And it was indeed a wonderful occasion for everybody who was there. And I'm not only talking about the performance. I'm talking about, as one sitting in the audience, the feeling, the emotions. It is indeed one of the most wonderful orchestras that I know. So, gentlemen, will you be kind enough to tell us how did it all start? I, I think it is less important how it all started rather than how it all continued. Mm -hmm. Because, too, it's like, it's like one of those uh, auditoriums that you build. It's not so difficult to build it, but it's... much more difficult to maintain it uh, afterwards. Uh, you said uh, that you love this orchestra, but it is also uh, in the only orchestra of its kind in the world. Yeah, right. There is no other ensemble with that instrumentation, which has West and East uh, instruments in it, And which plays music which is really uh, again a melange between east and west and and it's undefined almost everything goes into that yeah true I mean uh, there are orchestras which play uh, which play a uh, classic western music or oriental music Arab music but there's no such other orchestra which plays both Arab or Oriental music and Western music and this uh, very special, uh, special uh, arrangements and orchestration for this uh, very unique orchestra, both uh, humanly and musically and all this uh, collaboration and, uh, and the mix of uh, very special instruments like uh, oud, kanun, rik, duff and flute and clarinet. It's, it's very unique. It's truly amazing and yeah. uh, it also sounds... Very, very special. Maybe the question, the next question is a bit unfair, so I will apologize in advance. Everybody heard about uh, Daniel Barenboim's uh, East-West D1 orchestra. Yeah. How come your orchestra is not as well known all over the world? Because I know that you have toured, you have toured the world. We have toured and we won uh, a prestigious prize in, in Germany. Uh, but, uh, well, first of all, uh, Daniel Barenboim is, is a pers personality, uh, he says a word and uh, the day after all the world knows about what a he says. A special status, he enjoys a special yes, status. Yes, of course, he's, he's renowned and, and uh, he deserves it, he's a fantastic musician. Um, uh, we, we are not as known as Daniel Barnbaum. Taisir is, is very well known, uh, not only in Israel, abroad. It's a matter of public relations, and uh, unfortunately, uh, we don't have a lot of money. Not, not a lot, and not enough money. Uh, and so we don't spend it on public relations, and we spend it on, on, the, on the making of it, and not on public relations. It's not, uh, I wish we could have changed it, because it's not right. Today, if you don't publicize, you don't exist. Right. But we do exist, that's the best proof that you can exist without publicizing. And from time to time, we sort of lighten out what we do uh, to greater publics, and, uh, and, and it, it succeeds. Maybe we should uh, let Daniel know that you exist. I think he does. I think he does, but uh, somewhere he felt that it is some of uh, some of a uh, concurrence to to what he does. So, but you know, I, I don't believe this. So, because uh, in 
divan orchestra, they only play Western classic music. Right, and the musicians come from all over yeah. the Middle East. So th this is the great difference between us and them. Right. We don't play only or uh, classic Western music, we, we play both. And uh, this is the speciality, the uniqueness of this orchestra, yes. of our orchestra. Yes. This is the time to mention to, for our, to our viewers that uh, uh, during the concert Thursday, they uh, see you were conducting the yeah. orchestra, but we also had a, a great opportunity to enjoy Meir on the piano. Well, uh, yes. Uh, I must disappoint you a little bit. It was more the lack of a young <laughs> pianist <laughs> that brought me on stage. But we are lucky. But we sort of they took advantage of Basically, you had to save the day. Yes, yeah. yes, something like that. Uh, we used to have uh, actually two Arab pianists in the orchestra in the past. But they, they already went on to make their career and we remained uh, also the, the the music that we had lately uh, didn't didn't involve a piano so so right now we don't have a pianist what does it mean for a musician in the orchestra when it comes to his commitment when it comes to what is what he, he or she should expect when they join the orchestra Please. I'll tell you what they answered to that question. Had you now interviewed them, both the, Jew, the Jews, the Arabs, you would receive one answer, the music. We are here to make music. We ignore politics and we don't want to know about, uh, uh, about conflicts and all this. We are here to make music together. And I tell you, if you ask me the question, that this is only a partial answer. It's much deeper. Inner, deep, deeply inside, they don't want to say it, but deeply inside they know very well what they are doing and they know very well the mission and the aim, uh, the, the outside of, of the musical aim. Uh, the, the Arab musicians, of course, have a good reason not to uh, say it explicitly because it, it, it complicates a little bit. Sensitivities sensitivities, their friends, what would they think, and so on and so forth. The Jews, uh, may be, they, maybe they really don't want to get into that. And, and, or shall I say, they don't want to put the Arabs on a different uh, level, so they, they agree. They say, yes, it is the music that brings us together. Deeply uh, in their hearts, I think they, they, they understand and they know and, and they enjoy. And normally, how long will be the time uh, a member of the orchestra will spend with the orchestra? Yeah, averagely, I would say two years. Yeah. In, in so the average. Years. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's part of their credit as students. Uh, from music? Uh, yeah, the last two years, right? In, in within in the, the last two years, the, it the, has the become students who who study in the academy in this academy. Yes, they they get the credit for a a yearly. Course, well, what's called the uh, no. one-year course. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not wrong, sitting uh, amongst the audience Thursday, it's an equal number of uh, men and women. If I counted correctly, it was a bit far. I never counted it, yeah. so I don't know. But and, but you're, you're and what about uh, Arabs and Jews? We we try to make it half and half. Okay. Sometimes it, it sort of uh, fluctuates yeah. a little bit. Okay. There is flexibility. Yeah. Oh, yes. We, do, we don't count them one by one. Yeah. But, you know, I want to add something uh, concerning the last question of the uh, coexistence between us and Jews and the, if they are uh, conscious to this uh, fact. It's also for me, the most important thing is to make good music. The quality. Yeah. The level. Well, the level yeah. is top level. Yes. Uh, I don't make it because... The, 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 these are Arabs and Jews. I make it for making good music, a good quality of performing music. But, of course, it's very important for me that uh, when you make very good music, both Arabs and Jews, it's a great experience. And the very fact that Arab and Jewish students, pupils, sit together, create very good music together, 
it makes the, this coexistence very, I mean, really, more than reality, it's, it's, it becomes an experience, a very good experience, humanly, socially, and uh, uh, musically. We don't, I think, we don't have a political announcement, but I don't have any problem to make coexistence between Arabs and Jews. I am so glad that we can do it, and we are a, a very good example of doing that. And everybody should be grateful. I would like to add to that, uh, Taisir already said almost everything on it, but you see, uh, Arab-Jewish coexistence in Israel is always viewed as, as a problem. Mm -hmm. It's a problem. Always a solution. It is, it is difficult. Always a solution. Right. Uh, both uh, both is a solution. Uh, oh. Yeah, but we haven't reached it yet, and what, uh, there are so many things that have to be done equal rights, and I don't want to, to, to name all uh, the whole list. It's a problem. It's a challenge. It's a, it's a, it's a yeah, it's a challenge and a problem and a difficulty. And, and so, so it is still today, although we, we, we do make progress, but it is still today a problem. And we, with our doing, we prove that it doesn't have to be just a problem. It can right. also be a fantastic beautiful thing. Why? Because uh, the orchestra doesn't only play, or shall I, I'll put it in different words, every piece that the orchestra plays is new. Mm -hmm. Either new because it is uh, originally composed for this ensemble, especially composed. Yeah. especially composed, or it is new because uh, or, or the original uh, melody or, or the original music was for different for other instruments, mm -hmm. and, and this is a new arrangement. Most of them, uh, most uh, many arrangements, Taisir himself makes. So we show that coexistence is just uh, uh, giving birth to new music, which wouldn't have come to birth if this coexistence wouldn't exist. So basically, the orchestra. If I had to sum it up in one sentence, I know it's unfair. Uh, what it means uh, to all of us is quite simple. Not only that we look at you and see the way, we also hear it. Yes. We listen to you it. Say, you can say that. And it's a wonderful thing. Well, we have some beautiful girls in the orchestra that which you can enjoy looking at. The guys are also yeah. not bad looking, if yeah. I say so. Yeah. Let's talk about your repertoire during the years. Uh, some of the some of the works you are playing are original, mm -hmm. composed by uh, like uh, Taisir. Professor Tzvi Avni, who Taisir. composed the Bach in the East. How you call it in English? Uh, uh, Bach goes east. Yeah, Bach, 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 is Bach, Bach uh, in the East goes in it. And this is my Sacher and. Um, what else? Oh, we yeah. had we had uh, Ashkena Iran, Ash Iran yeah, uh, yeah, Ashkenazi's yeah, yeah. work. Yes, uh, right. We had a work by Rodin Shapira. Uh, with some Gibran, the first conductor, did some original composition. Uh, Don Levinson yeah. wrote the right. song. Uh, quite a few right. composers right. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, wrote especially for for us. The students do they contribute their music? Mm, not yet. I think no, no. Before I, I join, no. no. Mm -hmm. uh, Thursday we heard uh, the orchestra playing, uh, and it played as one unit. And Achino Amnini was there as a soloist. Yes. My question is, do you sometimes use a, a soloist, an instrument, is instrumentalist, and you play concerto, for example? Uh, for me, n n not yet. We have solos who uh, make some improvisation, you know, like taxim or other kind of improvisation. But uh, indeed, I thought about that to make a kind of a concerto for a specific instrument like oud or violin or canoon with orchestra. I think Menachem Wiesenthal composed the concerto yeah, yeah, for Yeah, I have many concertos which many. were written, written uh, for me, especially for me. But uh, it was an, an oud and a symphonic orchestra, you know. 
Orda be concerto for oud cello and orchestra or oud piano and orchestra, but not for this special orchestra. And I, I, I think that it would be a great idea to do that, of course. So there is, there is a good chance yeah. that one day we'll see you, Taisir, playing the oud as the soloist in a concerto for oud and orchestra and conducting, like they do with the Mozart yeah, piano yeah, concerto yeah. sometimes. I hope very much, of course. You know, we said that uh, the students, uh, the, the players, have not contributed original works, but let's not forget that they contribute almost at each work that we play, uh, they contribute in, impro in improvisation. Yeah. And not only, impro yes, improvisation. Because if we define improvisation as a composition in real time, so are they, they, they are composers. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. You know, what happened with the Muashach, the Andalusian that we performed on Thursday. Uh, originally we played it and then uh, we found that in the middle it would be nice to have a takasin, mm -hmm. a sort of Im improvisation by a solo. And uh, we had Nur Ben Shalom at that time, he played yeah. clarinet, he's now in Germany making a nice career. And he played clarinet and we said, why don't you improvise? Without a word, in the middle of the Moshe, he started to play the Jewish prayer. Avinu yeah? Malkeno, and started to play it, and it has become, it entered the repertoire, you heard it also on Thursday, this time played by the Kamanche, but, but it is in there now, uh, it has become part of the repertoire. And it's very special because the Kamanche is a, 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 speci a special instrument from Azerbaijan, so it's a weird kind of it to, to play uh, it's totally it's amazing. prayer. Yeah. What can we wish the orchestra? What can we wish you, gentlemen? I wish that many, many, many audiences will hear the orchestra and be influenced by its message. That's my aim. The orchestra is here. Let's have the audiences. Let's spread the word. Yeah, I join Mia's wish, of course, because, again, I am very proud to work with this great orchestra and with Dr. Mir Wieser, of course, because this orchestra is a very great a symbol of real coexistence because when you work together and create music together, you cannot hate each other. And we believe that music really is able to tear down walls of hatred and the misunderstanding and the problems. And it's a universal language. Sure. Anyway, yeah. Gentlemen, I want to thank you very much. Thank for, you, Avi. For, you. Show, for showing us the way. And uh, good luck in the future. Thanks very much. Good luck to Kashtun.